This comes from Fanside. Justin Verlander's brother accuses Babe Ruth of murder. Listen, I, I almost could not believe this, but I wanted to know. I didn't know much about Babe Ruth, the historic Yankee legend, Hall of Famer. Did he murder his wife? First, let's see what Ben Verlander, Justin Verlander's brother, had to say about this. As I found this very intriguing. He straight up said that Babe Ruth burned his wife to death. This comes from Ben Verlander's Twitter. Ben Verlander said, Woke up thinking how Babe Ruth set his poor wife Helen on fire. Yet the moral gatekeepers are keeping Barry Bonds, the greatest hitter of all time, out of the Hall of Fame. So did Babe Ruth, his ex-wife, pass away from a tragic fire? Yes, that is unfortunately true. Has history ever accused of Babe Ruth of being responsible when the event occurred several years after they separated while she was living in Boston with a dentist while Ruth was living in New York City? Not really. At the time, Babe, Babe Ruth's comment was, my wife and I had not lived together for the, for the last three years. During that time, I have seldom met her. I have done all that I can do to comply with her wishes. Her death is a great shock to me. But Ben, ben Verlander on Twitter again responded, Obviously don't know, but if you read into it, the timing, the clues are really sketchy. When did she die, Helen Ruth die? She died on January 11th of 1929. Similarly, what happened to Babe Ruth's first wife? In January 1929, Babe Ruth's wife, Helen, sadly passed away from a tragic house fire. The exact cause was never completely determined, but a lit cigarette was the main theory. In April of the same year, Babe married Claire a day before opening day at Yankee Stadium. Well, I, I did a little, little investigating into this because I didn't believe it myself. So now let's go over my investigation of Babe Ruth. And is he truly a murderer? Did he kill his ex-wife, Helen? Babe Ruth, his wife's death, secrets, and personal life of Babe Ruth. Three months after Babe Ruth powered the New York Yankees to a World Series sweep of the Cardinals, he experienced a shocking personal loss and became enmeshed in the scandal with the death of his wife. On January 11, 1929, Babe Ruth's wife, Helen Ruth, was killed in a house fire in Massachusetts near Boston. Helen resided in a house with a dentist, Edward H. Kinder. Helen and Babe Ruth were separated, but not divorced. Neighbors knew Helen as Miss K Mrs. Kinder and had no idea she was Babe Ruth's wife. Edward's family thought Helen and Edward's wife, but Helen and Edward weren't married. Helen was alone in the house when the fire started, though authorities determined the fire and Helen's death were accidental. The tragedy creates suspicion and reveals stunning secrets about Babe Ruth and his wife. So let's get into Babe Ruth and his life. Babe Ruth made his major league debut as a pitcher for the Boston Red Sox on July of 1914. He rented a hotel room in Boston and was frequently took his meals at a luncheonette around the corner. Helen Woodford was a waitress there and she and the babe connected. Three months later, on October 17th of 1914, Babe Ruth was 19 and Helen Woodford was 16. They were married at a church in Maryland, near where Babe had attended boarding school. Babe and Helen got an apartment in Boston and lived there until 1919 when they bought a 16-room house in Massachusetts. This is according to the Boston Globe. In December of 1919, the Red Sox sold Babe Ruth's contract to the New York Yankees. Babe and Helen lived in an eight-room hotel suite in Manhattan during the baseball seasons and returned to their home in the wintertime. Babe Ruth and Helen surprised the New York Yankees when they brought a 15-month-year-old girl named Dorothy to the polo grounds and introduced her as their daughter. Not even his closest friends on the team had suspected that Ruth was a father. Dorothy... Babe Ruth's daughter, was raised to believe that Helen was her biological mother. Years later, it was learned that Babe Ruth and Helen adopted Dorothy in 1921. In a book she wrote, Dorothy revealed that she discovered at age 59 in 1980 
Her biological mother was Juanita Jenkins, a woman who had an affair with Babe Ruth in 1920. So here he is married and he ha- with, to Helen Woodfar- Woodford, and he had an affair in 1920. So apparently, apparently that affair led to Babe Ruth's daughter with another woman. As a youth, Dorothy knew Juanita as Aunt Nita, a family friend. Babe Ruth met Claire Hodgson. Claire and her daughter, Julia, moved to New York after Claire's husband died in 1921. She was a model and a Broadway chorus line performer. Babe Ruth became a frequent visitor of Claire's Manhattan apartment in New York. This was from the Daily News that reported that. By 1925, Helen and Dorothy went to live full-time in the house in Massachusetts, and Babe remained in New York year-round. In 1927, Helen moved uh, to a waterhouse of dentist Edward Kinder. Helen and Edward had known each other since childhood, and their families lived in the same area, according to the New York News, Daily News. Edward was a World War I vet, graduated from the dental school, and established practice in Boston. Neighbors said Helen was known to them as Mrs. Kinder, and Dorothy went by the name of Dorothy Kinder. The family said they were under the impression that Edward and Helen were married in Montreal in 1927. During the separation from his wife, Babe Ruth hit 60 home runs for the New York Yankees in 1927, and he batted 625 versus the Cardinals in the 1928 World Series. On Friday night of January 11, 1929, Edward Kinder went to boxing matches in the Boston Garden. Seven-year-old Dorothy, who was seven at the time, was at a Catholic boarding school. Helen settled in for the night. She had turned on the radio, took sleeping pills, and fell asleep in the second-floor bedroom. About 10 p.m., a passerby saw smoke seeping through the windows when firefighters arrived. Flames had reached the second-floor story. Helen was found dead in the bedroom floor. Because of the sleeping pills, she wasn't awake. Uh, And by the smoke and the flames until it was too late, Helen's body was taken to the hospital and then, un- and then to undertakers. Edward was paged at the Boston Gardens and told by phone that a woman died in a fire at his house. She's my wife. Her name is Helen Kinder, Edward said to medical examiner. When they did the autopsy, but the examination was limited because the corpse had been embalmed by undertakers. In his report, it was determined that there was no indication of violence and the condition of the body was co- consistent with the theory death from suffocation in the fire. The fire inspector filed a report saying the fire was caused by electrical. Electrical means it was very amateurish, amateur repair work. And the wires were fixed, but they were not soldered. There was no evidence of anything criminal in the case. Helen's body was released to Edward for burial. Based on Edward's remarks, Uh, They prepared a death certificate identifying the deceased as Helen Kinder. He spent the weekend in seclusion in the home of his parents, arranged to have Helen buried on January 13th. Helen's relatives recognized her, and they reported her as Helen Ruth and told the police, who halted the burial plans. The Babe Ruth was contacted in New York and arrived to Boston by train on January 13th. My wife and I have not lived together for the last three years, Babe Ruth told reporters. During that time, I have seldom met her. I've done all that I can to comply with her wishes. Her death is a great shock to me. The next day, January 14th, Edward Kinder, accompanied by an attorney, arrived at the police station and was questioned by the police. Edward told the police that him and Helen weren't married and claimed he never tried to convey to anyone Helen was his wife, which apparently is a lie because they tried to pass off that they were married. Very suspicious here. When asked about telling the medical examiner the victim was Helen Kinder, Edward denied making the statement and later said he didn't remember. Police said it was satisfied with Edward's explanations. Helen's mother's sisters and brothers, however, demanded more thorough investigation. The family was suspicious of both Babe Ruth and Edward for different reasons. So why? Helen's sister Nora revealed that on December 10th in 1928 at Yankee headquarters, Nora said Babe Ruth asked Helen for a divorce so he could marry Claire Hodgson. When Helen demanded $100,000, the babe said no and stormed out of the meeting. A month later, Helen was dead. 
Federal narcotics agents were looking for reports uh, Edwards supplied Helen with opium. They suggested that Helen might have been drugged with opium and the house was delivery set on fire. They did a second autopsy. Babe Ruth was met with reporters. He was just trembling, breaking down, struggling to control his feelings and emotions. He's filled with grief. On January 16th, the results of the second autopsy confirmed that Helen's death was by suffocation from fire and there was no signs of foul play. The narcotics came up empty in their search for opium at Edward's office and found no evidence Helen was prescribed any. In addition, a state electrical examiner confirmed the fire started in partition on the first floor near a wall receptacle. They said the original wiring in the house was excellent, but the additional wiring installed later was a faulty and amateurish sort, placing too great of a load on the circuit wires and the receptacle. Basically, the wiring started the fire. Helen was asleep with taking sleeping pills. Therefore, she was so out of it, she suffocated. And she died. And this would have been a case that Edward could, and the family could have sued them. But of course, I don't know if they did. A seven-minute funeral service was held in the home of Helen's mother. Babe Ruth was present at the service, but Edward did not attend. At the ceremony, teams, tears streamed down Babe as he saw the body of his lo wife lowered into its grave. Unmindful of the snow which fell from the gray sky, Babe Ruth clutched his hat in his huge hand and stood among his wife's relatives, sobbing. After the funeral, Babe Ruth returned to New York with his daughter Dorothy. Three months later, in April of 1929, Babe married Claire. The next day, the Yankees opened the season at home against the Red Sox, and in his first at-bat, Babe Ruth hit a home run. Babe Ruth and Claire Hodgson remained married until he died in 1948. Based on the facts and evidence and everything I've got, my suspicion would be more on Edward. The way at Boston, faulty wiring, the way at the Boston Gardens, doesn't show up to the funeral? I don't know. Seems a little suspicious, a little bit suspicious, but nothing can be proven. Could have just been cheap labor. You know, they tried to use find the cheapest person they could do it. Maybe the guy wasn't, uh, you know, experienced well enough. Could all be accidental. But Babe Ruth, from this and everything I've read and my own conclusions, he did not kill his wife. He did not burn her. So that's how I feel. You let me know how you feel in the comment section below. Thanks for subscribing. I thought this was very interesting about Babe Ruth and his life and whether he's a murderer or not. Let me know your thoughts. We'll talk about it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell for more sports. If it's sports, it's going to be here on Sports Rules. Take care, everyone. Be safe and be well.